Is everyone here? All here? Good? No? Why not? <coughs> okay, so today's practical, we're going to learn what organ? Leaf. So again, um, I'll do I'll, I'll do this briefing very quickly. Um, we'll, we'll learn about leaf in another two lecture because the next the next lecture would be about stem. Then we we'll learn about the leaf. Okay, so uh, I do have a manual. How many plants you have? So you got the menu. So how many plants you have? So you got the menu. So how many plants you have? Yes, so on the gym asparagus. Okay, all right. So for the leaf, I think you should be having two parts. Is it? Because you should be dealing with dicot and monocot leaf. Okay, since since you have that uh, coconut, it should be the, uh, this should be the monocot. Okay, all right. Okay, um. Uh, as usual, this is still the series of learning about vegetative organs. Okay, how many vegetative organs that you need to learn? Root, stem, and also leaf. Okay, and this is number number three. And we're going to cover leaf for two weeks or two 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 lessons because it's such a wide topic. Like it's a lot. All right, okay. So, and the diversity of the leaf morphology, it makes it even more complicated because some species, they look different during the juvenile and the adult phase. Juvenile is the baby phase, okay. <clears throat> All right, so the thing you need to learn and you need to know about the leaf is about so leaf morphology. <clears throat> so today, when you are illustrating your leaf, you need to pay attention to a number of important parts in a given unit of leaf. Right? So let's say that this is the stem. Got the stem. Okay, I'll, I'll just I'll just use the, the, the simple one first. Okay, number one, you need to determine whether your leaf is single or compound. Okay, <clears throat> so this is just another one here, meaning that the general appearance of your leaf. Okay, so for a given leaf like this, um, a number of things you need to pay attention to. Number one is the stalk of the leaf. So this would be what? The tail. Okay, if this is petiole, the higher order, the second degree of it, we call Petiolul. Okay. Look, this is the single unit of it. This has been further derived. Okay. It has been branching out. <coughs> Look at your leaf. So, your leaf, see whether it's got petiole or not. And then look at the base here. But you know what? I'll just use the different color for this. Look at the base of your leaf. The base of the leaf. Then you need to describe it. 
So to describe it, oh, well, you, you got your, your good, good friend Google, right? So look for leaf-based morphology. How do you describe the base? There are many. We, we can have a look at in a bit. And then, so this is number one. And then number two is the, the, the edge of the leaf. So this is what we call as the margin of the leaf. Okay, this, this side here. Sometimes the margin can be smooth, sometimes it can be wavy, sometimes it can be um, toothed, you know, like a saw. And then look at the, another part is, look at the tip of the leaf. So the tip here, we call it the leaf apex. Okay, all right. So one is the base, the margin of the leaf, and also the effects of the leaf, right? So, for example, um, can you bring one plant to me? Let me show you. Any plant? That one is fine. Bring one and that heliconia as well. Okay, I think you are more familiar with this now because you have seen this for for a number of weeks. Like this leaf here. Do you still remember about this leaf? What about it? Is this stem? What is it? Um, okay. For example, look at this leaf here. So this leaf here, from the plant of Zimes, does it have petiole? No, it hasn't got a petiole. So it's got a special structure that looks like a petiole, but it's not actually this thing. So for the Zime leaf, okay, <clears throat> it's got two parts actually. So you got the leaf sheaf and also the second the part that you are familiar with this part here this is called the leaf blade or lamina right okay then you compare with this leaf does it have a patil or not Yes, it's got a patil in here. Is it? Is it a patil? Are you sure it's a patil? See it? It's empty. So this is actually a, a type of wrapping, just like this one. Okay, so don't don't be full. Okay, petiole, you shouldn't be able to unwrap anything. It should look like a stem, like a stick. All right. Okay. So when you have this kind of two different leaf, then you need to look at the next thing, which is this thing here. This pattern, the the veins pattern here. We call it venation, venation, venation of it, okay? So the venation for this leaf is something like this, okay? The difference is for the dicot leaf, usually you will have this guy here right in the middle. This is your mid rib, urat daun tengah. All right, so describe the venation, whether it's got a midrib or not. And then look at this leaf. Does it have any midrib? Yes. yes, it's got a midrib. Okay, what about the venation? So at your level, we, we, only, we go for venation for two only. Venation. What are they? Ish. All right. So you got parallel 
Banishan and also what? Network like or the botanical name for that is reticulate. Reticulate. It looks branching like this. Sometimes it can it can further branching out. Okay. So observe observe your plan and look at that. Describe the base of this. The base of it. The margin of it. The tip of your leaf. Okay. And look at the vanishing. Sometimes the vanishing is not clear on the, the, um, the upper side of your leaf. Okay. So your leaf has got two sides. The upper side and underside. It's got a name for that as well. So if this is your leaf. This top part is called upper side or a daxial. And this is your underside. This is your <coughs> a back seal. Okay. So look on the a back seal side of it. See what kind of vanishing that you have, okay? Is it the network or reticulate vanisher? Or is it parallel? Or does it have any mid-rib to it, right? Okay, so this is at the general fundamental level of the leaf. When you look the leaf, like, uh, let me see. Is there any coconut? Because I can see in the list here, coconut leaf. Did you? Is, is there any coconut leaf? Yes. Bring, bring over. <clears throat> okay. I want to correct your understanding. Do not get full, okay, with, with when you look leaf like this, do not get full and calling this is a leaf. Actually, this whole thing is a leaf. This whole thing. But the, the plant has undergone some process that actually split the leaf into individual. If this is whole thing is leaf, Individual leaf in the unit we call what? Leaflet. Okay, the 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 higher order of it. Pretty much like the petiole. The smaller one we call it the petiole. Okay. This is actually your entire leaf, which has been split into individual leaf like this. The leaflet. Look at look at your hand. Your hand. When you were a fetus in the womb your hand pretty much like this, webbed, kind of like the, 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 the feet of duck, web, you know, duck, look at, look at the, the feet of the duck, okay, so when the fetus was developing in the womb, after some time, the tissue in the hand start undergoing a process called um, apoptosis, It's kind of like program cell death. So causing the tissue, the hand tissue to split open and the, re the result is you get your fingers, your digit. So the same story goes to the leaf. Okay, so what is the function? Why can't it be like um, this? Uh, can, you, can you hand it over? What leaf is this? Banana leaf. Why coconut needs to split open the leaflet into this form and not be like banana leaf? For what? For? Air, okay. 
Yeah. Where usually you find coconut tree? Beach. Is it windy or is it? Yeah. If cock um, banana were to live near the beach, you're going to get broken banana leaf. See? It's easily broken. It's, it's going to get broken all the time. And the plant will have a very hard time to, to maintain itself. Okay, so this is to facilitate air movement. Yeah, and also, um, you see, the, um, the 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 coconut the coconut leaf. Actually, all of this. It's it's very fibrous. It, no, no, no. It's um the the way it is arranged is actually to maximize light interception from 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 the sun okay so you're going to see that the coconut leaf is it upright or is it yeah yeah so the way the leaf is positioned on the stem is actually has been optimized to suit the natural location of the plant okay so you can see that you have got various plant light not all of these plants naturally live in the sun, sunny condition. Some are actually live in a shade condition. Okay, so that's why they kind of have this special function, special form, so that they can maximize their light interception and also they don't get easily broken. All right, so for a leaf like this, so that would be the petiole. And this would be the, has it got any patil? No, there is no patil. Okay, so for this leaf like this, we call it a compound leaf. Daun majmo. Yeah, it's not like this. This is simple leaf. Oh, it's already uh, wilting. Oh, this is actually, yeah. Just one leaf like this. It's not, it's not split open. Okay. Another structure when you are dealing with compound leaf is, um, so you have your, the base of it. My drawing is not that great. Okay, so this is your petiole for your coconut. I'll just give one example, okay? Because the concept is um, always the same for, for other, other plant species having this kind of appearance. So at the base is your petiole. The moment it hit the first level of the leaf, this guy here, this axis here is no longer a petiole. There is a different name for it, this, this, this part here. This is now called rakis. Rakis. Okay. And if it goes to the side, make a branch of a it. Maybe you have another leaf here for a different species. Okay. This now become rakila. Okay. Remember, okay. This axis from the stem, it is petiole. Okay, the the moment the moment it gives rise to the branching, like this, it become rakis, and the higher order of it is called rakila. And this is this is specially only for the compound leaf. All right, okay. And what else is here? So do you have orchid? Yes. Mm, okay. So orchid, yeah, pretty much um, the same. Although orchid, you don't really have petiole. The there is two types of orchid. It's, it says here, dendrovium and vanda. 
Let me see. Uh, this is the Nerobium. That is Bandar. Okay. Um, the difference is um, there is there is a name. I, I'll give you all this um, terminology so that you, you can search um, later. So Orchid, the, the growth habit of Orchid, you got two. Orchid, you got two. Um, you got Sympodial and Monopodial. Monopodial. Sympodial, it means the leaf kind of originating, originating from the bulbs. Then you got your leaf here. Then there is a rhizome going on. Then you got another bulb. And it, it, it goes on, okay, horizontally. So this is sympodial. For monopodial, it, it doesn't grow horizontally like this. It grows vertically. Can you see that in the orchid? Right. The orchid in front of you. See, it goes going up. Okay. And the good example for this, since you got it here, this is uh, dendrobium. Dendrobium orchid. And this is the Vanda orchid. Vanda. All right. Okay. That all cocos, zingiber, heliconia, mosa, zimes. What else that, that looks weird? Because this lalang. Lalang. Family. So pretty much like um, uh, zimes. You take you take a unit of leaf here. Down, down, down. Okay. Although you need to find. Okay, this this one is clearer. Let's put it here. So the way you know whether it is the leaf blade or the leaf shift, there is a junction here. See, you can snap it. So the the joint where you can snap your leaf into junction like this, the top one is the leaf blade. The down is the leaf shape. Okay, and this is especially for only for the grass family. Okay, is this true? If you go to the rice, it's the same story as well. And this is open it. Kunyit. Kunyit, kunyit or ginger? Kunyit ginger is not the same, you know? Okay. Alright, number one. The the question is, is it a simple leaf or compound leaf? Compound? Simple or compound? Simple. Simple. Okay. All right. Any patio? Any patio? Any patio? So, they tell the other So, she leaf shape. Okay. This leaf. What is the venation? Parallel. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, describe it like that. Okay. There is a, another one actually, but I think we don't have to deal with this. Uh, uh, a leaf arrangement, whether it's alternate or not. But that's alright. Uh, we'll deal with it uh, in the next class. Okay. Alright. I think that's all that you need to describe. I think that's already a lot. Is that clear? Okay. All good? All good? All good? Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. So you can start illustrating. There's quite a lot to, to go on today. So, and just ask me uh, when you're not clear, okay? All right.
the original bench and this as well group this front group please take please take can you bring me satu down um uh, jago this one take the whole unit of jago jago This is the lamina. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yang ni, hmm? ni yang minggu lepas punya ni. Patutnya apa kita ask apa yang baru ni ini dengan yang ni je. Yang ni tak ada. Oh. Okey, okey. Kita buat belum lagi. Uh, ah, tak apalah tadi pun memang cerita ni je. Tak cerita ni pun. Ah, ya dah. Aku nak tidur dengan saya kan. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, uh, class you only illustrate whatever samples in front of you okay because if you don't don't totally refer to this because some of these samples are actually meant for next week okay yeah deal whatever in front of you kenapa pecah pecah benda ni hmm tak apalah no no it's okay it's okay this, this is fine um ada salah tip tak do, do you see any sellotape? Can you bring to me? Ah, cepat, cepat, lukis, lukis. Please start drawing your stuff. Nampak. Where is the mouse? Yeah. Uh huh. Got uh flower there. Then the other two are the last symposium. Hmm. 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 That's dendrobium. What the mouse? Sham, 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 Sham. Um, ada beaker tak? Ada beaker tak? Beaker ke petri dish ke? Nak nak satu? Okay, thank you.
Rakis. Rakis. Let's say that this is the first leaf uh, for this front lepas ni sebelum first leaf ni ini adalah petiu sebelum tu the moment dia jumpa je ni daripada sini sampai hujung Rakis 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 R A C Rakila tu whatever yang branching out daripada Rakis So, if this is your kiss and this is your first leaf, uh, ni petio. Ah, uh, from here, your kiss. Rakila, tiba-tiba kat dia ada kona ke tepi. So, whatever yang ni adalah Rakila. They kind of overlap dengan mid rib daun urat tengah. Okay. <coughs> Afiq, turn on live ending Teruk lah internet dalam ni
the next one. I'll see you right away. Uh, Okay. For example, the Z maze, the corn, the leaf, we call it the shape of the leaf, we call it linear. Linear. Right? Oh, okay, it's not it's not kind of, it's not very clear for some reason. Maybe I can get a better image. depiction of Rakila, okay, and also the petiolul, okay, so you can join the group. So it's going it's gonna to be a while, this, this internet is super slow. Okay, did you get the image in the sky?
it's one of the things of the dynamics.
Cuenta.